now yeah yeah sure tell me about yourself uh, my name is jajit kumar i am from bihar and uh, mm-hmm. i have completed my btech from rgp university bhopal and then after i joined a transtex solution in uh, hyderabad and i am doing work as a software developer yeah that's it thank you okay shall we start from the core java concept yeah sure can we please explain about ops concept uh ops is basically uh, it's a one of the technique uh, those are uh, implement we can implement with the java so basically ops will provide some of the features like uh, encapsulation polymorphism inheritance abstractions so with the help of those features we can uh, implement our project so that it will uh, give the better performance and uh, whatever the code we have those reusability it will perform so basically uh, the encapsulation it means uh, hiding the what are the properties we have and provide the access to other classes or yeah. the other people with the help of the uh, some public methods getter and setter methods so that is called encapsulation inheritance uh, we are performing like uh, some of the parent class property we are inheriting in the uh, child classes and we are doing the operations with that so that is called a inheritance and polymorphisms are two types so in the polymorphism basically we have a compile time or run time polymorphism so compile time means like uh, method overloading so in the same class having a multiple method with the same name and different different parameters and in different different orders then we can say those are the method overloading and if it is not then uh, we can go with the method overriding and method overriding means parent class having uh, some methods and with the same uh, method we have implemented some other functionality in the child class method child class and the method name should be same of the parent class and child class then we can say that uh, those are the method uh, overriding okay so those are the concepts are available in the polymorphism and uh, abstractions will provide like a interface or abstract class so interface we can create in our java or abstract class also we can create and uh, there is some difference between them so if you want to achieve uh, fully abstractions we can go with the interface and if you want to treat as a partially then we can go with the abstract class and we can do the implementation of those so based on requirement we can take it yeah that's all okay what is the purpose of collection concept in java so collection is also very important concept uh, collection basically uh, it's provide the implementation of all those data structures so whatever the data structure concept we have learned with the help of uh, like uh, link list whatever the array list array and vector queue graph map all those things they have provided the implementation like partially implementations so we are using those uh, collections to achieve uh, like the peoples or whatever the developers we have they don't have to write lots of the code to create a link list or create a array list create a vector map they will easily use those implemented classes of the collections and then you, they will utilize it so for example collection will given some of the interface like uh, set list or queue in the same way they will give the like map having a different collections so in that package one leads available so map also we have so map will also take care of some of the implemented classes so we can talk about the map and uh, map will store the value as a key value pair in a way as a object and in the collections also they are storing the value only they are not storing the key but uh, we have a set interface so set having a, our own separated implementation classes uh, 
list having our own implemented classes queue uh, having our own implemented classes so based on our requirement we can take off those uh, any of the classes based on our requirement and we can proceed with that so i think it's a very important library which is collections in java okay can we tell me about your current project uh, my current project is uh, agastya and uh, we have developed this project uh, with the uh, we are using the spring springboard microservices those technology and for the front end we have used the uh, we have used the react and html css javascript and for database uh, we have used uh, mongodb so those are the technology we have used in this project agastya and agastya is basically solving a problems like uh, if you go to any hospitals and uh, in the hospital uh, doctor will not take care properly our patient or maybe the uh, the whatever the caretakers caretaker is not getting the actual information which is going with the uh, our patient so we are trying to resolve those problems with the help of the agastya application so what basically we have done is in the every hospitals we have put it some of the device which is micro device and the device is capable to read the data from the particular patient and they will send to the our api and with that api we have a android application ios application and those application we can install to the doctor or caretaker or nurse okay mobile phone and then after uh, whenever they want okay so they can see what is the associated uh, doctor patient what is the nurse associated patient what is the caretaker also can take care of our patient like uh, what is the situations right now of the particular patient or he will take everything as a partially and uh, they also know about each and everything what medicines is going on what treatment is going on because some of the time if you see uh, the people are available in the icu and uh, they are not giving the proper treatment so people are going to happen so many death so we are try to resolve those problems with the help of the agastya application yeah that's all okay what is difference between hasmap and link hasmap uh hasmap is basically uh, uh we are storing the value as a key value pairs and uh, it's a like uh, implementation so map only but uh, they are capable to store the one null as a key and multiple value as a null so this is the one things and uh, they will not uh, link the data properly with the link uh, has map okay and link map has has map will work out when uh, we have uh, some data in the chunk and we have to link each and every data with each others in that concept if you go then definitely we can use the link uh, has map so those are the difference we can say okay do you know spring boot uh, yes okay please tell me uh, a spring boot is uh, just a one framework okay it's a top of the spring so in a spring uh, people have to write each and everything in a like xml or json data then we have to write a lots of the configurations but if you go with the a spring boot they have come up with uh, some of the automation process like uh, we don't want to do each and everything manually the basic project whatever we required they have generated easily and uh, i think uh, if you are uh, if you want to develop some of the project quickly we can go with the uh, spring boot and it's very easy to understand and anybody can really understand those things okay and uh, the features they have come up with like uh, 
dependency management easily db configurations we don't want to write uh, they are given the embedded tomcat servers they have some consoles okay so those things are uh, important in the spring boots okay how we can co create custom exception okay so while creating a custom exceptions uh, uh in java we can uh, create one class and based on our requirement for example if you want to develop uh, compile time exception or runtime exception so based on our exceptions type if it is runtime exception then we can implement the type as a runtime exceptions okay if it is uh, compile time exception like it's depend on the exception basically if you want a general exception then we can extend the exception or throwable whatever and uh, what we can do is we can provide the implementations of this class and we can write one constructors which is taking one string parameters as a message and we can send out to the super classes and uh, in that we have to print the data also so we can create one method to get the message of those particular classes so with that we can create one custom exception in java okay which data database do you know uh, database i know mysql oracle and mongodb postgres equal Yeah, those database I have on this. What is join? Join is basically uh, we are using when we have to fetch the data from the multiple tables. So whenever we have a multiple tables and those tables are associated with each others. then we can take the help of the join so we have a lots of the joins like uh, inner join outer join left join right join so with the help of that join we can fetch the data from the multiple tables yeah. okay friends i have done from my side do you have any question no i don't have